this free Google Slides extension is supposed to be really knocking it out of the ballpark to help you create presentations within minutes. As a teacher, I often find I get writer's block when creating Google Slides. Something about starting with a completely blank Google Slide just stops me in my tracks. Now we all know about the wonderful sites that shared great templates, which at least got us started with a layout like Slides Go, Slides Mania, and Slides Carnival. But this free Google Slides artificial intelligence extension, it's supposed to be the bee's knees to help you create presentations within minutes. No, nope, not just the layout, but the entire presentation. Hello and welcome, I am Mrs. P. Tarleton, here to help you work smarter and not harder. So I immediately wanted to share with you anything that will make our teaching lives easier. Now keep in mind that you only get three free slide presentations each month, which does not sound practical for teachers. The next level is $10 a month for 10 slide presentations, or there's $20 a month for unlimited presentations. Seems for most teachers, we would need a $20 a month plan, which for, for me seems pretty if pricey. It's, free, it's for me. The first thing I did was type in general instructions to introduce a trigonometry unit. Looking at what I got, it seems that it could be a good starting point, yet it does seem that I would need to do a lot of editing and adjusting. I noticed on this slide that it states we label the sides of a right triangle as follows, but then never explains that portion. So I would definitely have to add something there. It also states things out of order, like on this slide. The sections are numbered, but number two should actually really be the subtitle. So more adjustments are needed. Also, the examples given for practice were not the best, so teachers would need to add in practice problems. I wondered if trigonometry was maybe a little too heavy for the Slides AI, and I tried having it introduce the basic terms in geometry. These slides are not bad. It actually included the definition of each term, which is a good thing and something I did not specifically spell out in my directions. It was able to include that piece all on its own. The slides seem to be a little too heavy with the words for my personal liking. What are your thoughts about putting words on slides? Is there a time when you would want a lot of words on a slide? I do think the definitions of the geometry terms is a good thing to include and much needed on each slide. Yet I also think it'd be better to have one term per slide, which using some shortcuts would be a quick and easy adjustment. If you would like to see how quickly I edit the presentation, let me know in the comments and I will create a separate video. Now, before you jump in and pay $10 or $20 a month for this, let me show you what it did to introduce the basic colors. Surely the AI can handle these basic instructions. I asked the AI to create slides to teach the eight basic colors, introducing one color per slide, and to be sure to include images that represent each color being taught. I asked the app to show real world items that represented the color and also a toy that would match or represent the color for each of these eight colors. I asked it to give an intro and also a final slide. This teacher friends, I think was a disaster. This showed me that the AI has some work to do. It does not have the understanding to recognize the directions it was given. Although it did put one color on each slide, the images did not match the color being taught. Would I pay 10 or $20 for this app? The answer is absolutely nope. not. It seems that the slides were a hit and miss does not seem that I would get consistently something I could readily use in my classroom. Yes, there was one of the three tries that gave me a good structure for a presentation, but let's not forget, I would still need to go in and edit the slides and make some additions. Then the other two times I used the app, it just put my words on a slide and added a random image. From what I have seen, it will need a lot of editing to get a presentation that can be used in the classroom. When would this possibly be a good tool to use? I am thinking maybe if you're giving a presentation and wanted all of your presentation notes to be on the slides. However, for me, slides should enhance what the presenter is saying. What are your thoughts? Is Slides AI something that would help you? 